We have just heard the news yes. that Perseverance is alive on the surface of Mars. NASA's Mars rover just made a terrifying new discovery and shocks the entire world by uncovering an ancient chamber of crystalline formations deep beneath the red dust of the Gale Crater. The revelation came when the rover's ground-penetrating radar, during a routine scan of the Martian subsurface, detected an anomalous structure unlike anything seen before in Martian geology. Instead of the expected layered ice deposits or sedimentary rock formations, the radar return signals consistent with a massive hollow cavity filled with intricate translucent crystals as the rover's robotic arm delicately sampled minute fragments of the crystal network scientists back on earth realized that these formations were not mere mineral deposits but seemed to be interwoven with microscopic filament like structures suggestive of a once living matrix the initial data transmitted by the rover's instruments detailed irregular patterns of isotopic carbon within minute pockets of liquid brine trapped between the crystal lattice the patterns hinted at metabolic processes is far more recent than any previously considered for life on Mars. Geochemical analysis indicated that these microstructures might have been active less than 100,000 years ago, a blink in planetary terms, raising the possibility that life on Mars could be far less ancient and far more persistent than previously believed. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The revelation of a subsurface environment seemingly capable of supporting microbial life ignited a fevered response across the scientific community. The crystalline chamber, buried under nearly a kilometer of compressed sediment, appears to have been protected from the brutal radiation that bathes the Martian surface. Laboratory simulations suggested that the porous nature of the crystals would allow for pockets of water mixed with perchlorates and briny salts to remain liquid at sub-zero temperatures. Within those pockets, the rover's instruments detected fleeting signatures of methanogenic compounds and complex organic polymers that strongly resemble rudimentary cell membranes. Although Mars has long been suspected to harbor signs of past life, the idea of an extant microbial ecosystem beneath its surface sent a shock through astrobiologists, planetary geologists, and even philosophers pondering humanity's place in the cosmos. This discovery implies that Mars, once assumed to be a barren rock struggling to host even the simplest organisms, might instead maintain a secret biosphere thriving out of reach shielded from surface conditions that seem utterly inhospitable. Scientists pored over every transmission and spectrographic readout, racing to confirm whether the data could be an artifact of sensor noise or contamination from Earth. Yet cross-validation between multiple onboard instruments confirmed the presence of isotopic anomalies inconsistent with non-biological processes. The rover's mass spectrometer detected slight enrichments of carbon-13 in the extracted fluid samples, a signature that on Earth strongly correlates with biological fractionation. Meanwhile, the rover's microscopic imager revealed filamentous shapes entangled within the crystal network, shapes reminiscent of terrestrial cyanobacteria cast in silica. Though the Martian environment is vastly different from Earth's, the convergence of these clues propelled the scientific community to take seriously the prospect of active or recently active Martian microorganisms. If confirmed, the existence of life on Mars would force a dramatic reevaluation of the assumption that Earth is unique in its capacity to harm harbor living systems. It would suggest that wherever conditions permit, even in frigid, radiation-bathed environments, life finds a way to endure and adapt. The implications for astrobiology are profound. For decades, missions to Mars have searched for the faint traces of fossilized organisms or the chemical remnants of ancient habitability. Rovers and orbiters return tantalizing hints of past water flows, methane spikes in the atmosphere, and complex organic molecules embedded in ancient sediments. Yet all such findings remained ambiguous, consistent with non-biological explanations. The discovery of an active, or at least geologically recent, ecosystem forces scientists to revise models of panspermia and planetary habitability. It suggests that Mars may once have shared more than just water with Earth. Perhaps life on both planets originated from similar building blocks delivered by ancient meteorites or comets crashing into a nascent solar system. If life on Mars emerged independently, the fact that it could persist beneath the surface challenges the notion that the emergence of life requires a narrow window of surface conditions. Instead, it paints a picture of life as a phenomenon that can take root in multiple niches across the cosmos cropping up wherever pockets of liquid water and organic precursors coincide. Beyond the academic sphere, the broader cultural ramifications of this discovery will be staggering. 
For centuries, humanity has gazed at Mars with a mixture of imagination and fear, envisioning canals built by Martians or imagining red dust as a symbol of eternal mystery. A credible sign of active life on the neighboring planet will reignite existential questions about the meaning of life, our responsibilities toward other living worlds, and the sanctity of planetary protection. Religious and philosophical traditions across the globe may scramble to interpret what this means for foundational beliefs about humanity's uniqueness. Would life on Mars, even if microbial and hidden beneath ice-encrusted crystals, warrant moral consideration? Should humanity change its approach to space exploration if it learns that we are not alone even in the simplest forms? These questions could inspire a new wave of interdisciplinary dialogue, as ethicists, theologians, and legal scholars join planetary scientists in grappling with the ethical dimensions of interacting with an extraterrestrial biosphere. Technological implications follow closely behind. If the subsurface environment on Mars can host a persistent biosphere, then future missions will need to be engineered to drill deeper, sample more delicately, and preserve environmental integrity. The discoveries by the rover suggest that conventional drills and sampling apparatus may be insufficient to reach the most promising niches of Martian life. Agencies like NASA, ESA, and private entities vying for Martian landers will need to invest in advanced robotics capable of navigating steep crater walls, penetrating denser layers of sediment, and preserving cryogenic samples for transport back to Earth. The design of sterilization protocols will also require re-evaluation, as the risk of forward contamination increases dramatically if life is indeed extant. Engineering teams will have to balance competing imperatives, the drive to explore and learn versus the moral responsibility to avoid introducing Earth microbes that could irreversibly alter or destroy the native Martian biosphere. In some quarters, there may even be calls to halt certain types of missions, until an international framework can be agreed upon, outlining guidelines for the exploration of living worlds beyond Earth. Political and legal dimensions come into play as well. The discovery has already prompted some lawmakers to call for revisiting the Outer Space Treaty and drafting new legislation that addresses the rights of extraterrestrial ecosystems. Should nations reserve regions of Mars as protected reserves, akin to wildlife refuges on Earth? Might there be a need to designate zones where human activities are strictly forbidden to preserve delicate biospheres? Some experts suggest establishing a planetary council comprised of representatives from every nation and relevant scientific bodies to create a unified policy for Mars exploration. This council could enforce strict standards for sterilization, sample collection, and lander footprints to prevent inadvertent harm. The complexities are immense, however, because the presence of life on Mars underscores the potential for competition over valuable resources, such as underground ice or mineral deposits. If a subsurface water reserve is confirmed to support microbial communities, should it be off-limits to mining efforts? Who gets to decide and based on what criteria? These discussions could set precedents for how humanity approaches not only Mars, but the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, where liquid water oceans might hide similar ecosystems. From a scientific perspective, the discovery reignites the search for life throughout the solar system. If Mars retains pockets of habitability where life persists, then perhaps icy moons such as Europa or Enceladus also harbor subsurface biomes. Missions that were being considered for the next decades, such as landers designed to probe Europa's ice crust, may receive renewed funding and urgency. Researchers will scour data from Cassini, Galileo, and previous Mars orbiters for overlooked clues that might correlate with subsurface habitability. Exoplanet researchers will revisit models of atmosphere signatures for worlds orbiting distant stars, recalibrating predictions about biosignatures based on a deeper understanding of how life could exist in extreme environments. The definition of the habitable zone might expand to include worlds once thought inhospitable, shifting the way telescopes such as the James Webb Space Telescope are used to search for life beyond our solar system. The potential for discovering life's fingerprints in the atmospheres of exoplanets will become more tantalizing. As scientists draw analogies between fractal crystal chambers on Mars and hypothetical niches on worlds dozens of light years away. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on NASA's Mars rover discovery? What do you think it found? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.